Good morning and welcome to the Forex Daily Update, brought to you by Pepperstone on Tuesday the 18th of December 2018. I'm Darren Sindon and you can follow me throughout the day on Twitter by using at DS underscore Pepperstone. Okay, let's kick off as ever with a look at the overnight changes and price moves to be aware of. And it was a relatively quiet session on the world's global foreign exchanges yesterday. Um, not surprising, I suppose, as we're heading down uh, towards the Christmas holidays. Um, there was some movement, however, in the Antipodean currencies. Uh, the Australian dollar adding 0.24% against its US rival. And the New Zealand dollar, or Kiwi as it's known, adding three quarters of a percent against the US dollar. Perhaps surprising to see uh, the Aussie dollar on the front foot uh, at least retaining those gains uh, after the release of relatively dovish uh, RBA minutes overnight. There was also some weakness uh, in the dollar against the Japanese yen. Um, Japanese yen adding 0.23% against the US currency on the session, trading now with 112.56 handle. Uh, we haven't talked much about dollar yen. I wonder if there's anything left uh, in the way of surprises from uh, Japanese currency before the year end. Uh, the Indian rupee was on the back foot against the uh, US dollar yesterday, however, uh, down by 0.58% against the uh, greenback dollar index for its part, uh, staying above 97, but off of those highs we saw yesterday around 97.45 uh, and on the day uh, up by around just 0.02% having been below. Uh, this price that we saw a short while ago. Uh, pretty quiet uh, as far as the cryptocurrencies were concerned as well. Okay, what's on the Canada today? Events that may move the markets. Uh, well, we've already had data out of Australia in terms of new home sales uh, and the RBA meeting minutes, as I say, the tone there struck by the uh, board of the RBA are pretty dovish walking themselves back from an early rate rise uh, seems to be the general consensus there um, to come at 9 a.m. GMT we will have uh, the IFO expectations business climate and current assessment data out of Germany uh, a chance to see how German economic uh, watchers and followers uh, see the prospects for the German economy going forward at 13.30, we shall have housing starts and building permits data out of the US for the month of November. Uh, and then we take a decent break all the way around to 2200 GMT when we'll have uh, the Westpac Consumer Confidence Survey for New Zealand for the fourth quarter. And then a further break to 2350 when we shall have balance of trade data out of Japan for the month of November. Okay then, breaking news and comment. It's caught my eye overnight. And first of all, uh, a US government shutdown from Friday moved a step closer as Democrat politicians in the US refused to grant approval for the funding of the Mexico border wall. Meanwhile, President Trump has criticised the Fed ahead of Wednesday's FOMC meet when a 25 basis point rate rise is expected. So this is the second or third time, isn't it, in recent months that uh, Donald Trump has uh, criticised the Fed. Uh, unprecedented action then from the US president. U.S. stocks, meanwhile, finished in the red, uh, with the U.S. 30 index down by around 2.11%, and Japanese equities touched 18-month lows overnight. Meanwhile, the New Mexican administration has pledged to raise minimum wages in the country during 2019 by 16% to $5.10, or 102.68 pesos per hour. Okay then, food for thought, something to take away with you into the trading day and beyond, and why not think about this? Uh, the hopes and fears of 63 fund managers who manage $609 billion. Uh, Bank of America Merrill Lynch conducts a monthly uh, FX sentiment survey uh, and uh, asks people who manage money in those markets what they think is going to happen and what their biggest concerns are. So the chart on the left-hand side shows the biggest fears or concerns of uh, those fund managers heading into 2019. Uh, the biggest concern, a resumption of trade war concerns, uh, and then a series of other smaller issues, Brexit, um, political brinkmanship from Donald Trump, highly topical, uh, and outflows and destabilization uh, in uh, the emerging markets. Less of a concern, uh, Italy, uh, the oil prices, uh, and and sundry other items and then in terms of what they feel strongest about um, in terms of the US rates for, during 2019 um, the answers from the November survey in yellow and the current answers here in blue um, the fund managers uh, see US rates as little changed um, they see uh, for choice uh, well rates higher 
uh, and the curve flatter. However, less people are thinking that that's the, that's a likelihood than they did in November. Um, a smaller number also taking the opposite view, the rates higher, the curve steeper. Um, and uh, 2 to 3% of people are still not sure about what's happening uh, with US rates. And of course, we'll know a lot more about that uh, come the uh, FOMC meeting uh, tomorrow evening. Right, please take a moment to read this risk warning. Trading CFDs and foreign exchange on margin can be risky business. If you're in any doubt about those risks or the suitability of leveraged products for you, then please do contact your Pepperstone account representative. And do take a moment, please, to read this risk warning thoroughly. Thank you for your time.